I've lit three candles this morning for our third month in lockdown. Hopefully it'll be near our last. But today is a good day to give thanks, and we do, Lord. Thank you for today, a new opportunity to love, give, and be all that you want us to be. At the start of each day, help us to recognise you above all else. Open the eyes of our heart so we will see you and notice how you're at work in our lives. Thank you that you are greater than anything we will face in our day. Thank you that your presence goes with us, and that your joy is never dependent on our circumstances. But it's our true and lasting strength, no matter what we're up to or up against. We ask that your peace lead us. We ask that your grace to cover our lives this day in your son's sweet name. Amen. I'm going to read Psalm 136 today. Praise the Lord, he is good. God's love never fails. Praise the God of all gods. God's love never fails. Praise the Lord of lords. God's love never fails. Only God works great miracles. God's love never fails. With wisdom he made the sky. God's love never fails. The Lord stretched the earth over the ocean. God's love never fails. <clears throat> he made the bright lights in the sky. God's love never fails. He lets the sun rule each day. God's love never fails. He lets the moon and the stars rule each night. God's love never fails. I'm going to read Mark 1, 29, 34 today. Jesus heals many. As soon as they left the synagogue, they went with James and John to the home of Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they immediately told Jesus about her. So he went to her, took her hand and held her up. The fever left her, and she began to wait on them. That evening, after sunset, the people brought to Jesus all the sick and the demon possessed. The whole town gathered at the door, and Jesus healed many who had various diseases. He also drove out many demons, but he would not let the demons speak, because they knew who he was. Amen. Let's have our prayers of intercession. Loving God, when we look at the earth, we see your mighty power and your tender gentleness. We see both your glory and your simplicity. We see evidence of your sense of humour and your caring provision for all creation. All that you have made tells us that this earth is held in the hands of a loving and generous God, who when its people call out, they will be heard. So Lord, hear us now as we bring before you in our prayers of intercession our hopes and dreams for a better world, for lives restored to wholeness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, today we pray for your church, that its leaders and peoples will feel power of the Holy Spirit as they strive to bring your words of truth, comfort and challenge in today's world of many faiths and none. We pray for our own church as we remember all who give their time and talents in Christ's name. We pray for Trudy and all those whose roles of leadership and responsibility that the church may be guided with inspiration that can only come through your spirit. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We are constantly reminded of the contrast within our modern society, the level of the minimum wage versus the paid top executives or footballers. Also that a person's worth and their monetary reward often seems out of balance. And so we pray for more just society 
where service and humility is ranked fairly alongside power and status. Despite the increase and ease of communications, many in our society still live lives of loneliness. We pray for those who try to bring some personal contact to their lives and pray for the work of organisations like Silverline. Jesus not only spoke of a loving God, but held out his hand and touched those who sought him. Help us to be Christ's hands in reaching out to the lonely. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those in most need in our families and neighbourhood, thinking of the elderly, the housebound, those in hospital or hospice. We pray for all carers and visitors, whether family members, volunteers or healthcare professionals, and especially to those who minister to people near the end of life's journey through the hospice movement. They do your work, and so we ask for them your gifts of patience, compassion and understanding. We pray for those we know who are sick, lonely or in some special need at this time. As we share a brief moment of silence together, we can name them in our hearts. As we have named them in our hearts, so let them feel your presence and friendship in their lives as we commit them to your loving care. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We also remember those who, have loved, who we have loved but see no more. We pray for those left behind to grieve. Let them know that nothing is more dependable in times of sorrow than your encircling love. And Lord, help us to be your hands, your feet, your ears and your lips. Help us to bring comfort to all who seek it. Help us to be compassionate, caring and loving, just as you are. Help us to understand and recognise the needs of others. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I've got a poem here that is um, quite upbeat, I think. It will talk of the future for us after the virus. Today we face the trying times of heartache and pain. Many hopes and dreams are shattered and prayers seem in vain. With the hope of the virus diminishing, the heart has no definitive song. We've waited for an end to the pandemic, but the struggle seems so long. Yet there is hope for the future. Liberty and freedom are still in command, but God will make the ultimate decisions. He will evaluate our worldly demands. And he holds the future in his grasp. Why should we despair? He mourns and counts every tear and he hears and reviews every prayer. Amen. Lord bless us and watch over us today and every day. Amen. Thank you so much for listening.